Hi there. It's been a minute. Well, it's been over a week. I missed last week's check-in with you guys. In fact, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I missed last week's yoga workout altogether. The beginning of the week, I went in and got results on my... Uh, well, I went in to go basically for a check on a neuro thing with the neurosurgical department where they were thinking about operating on my neck, on my spine, due to the fact that I have arthritis and some deterioration in there. I had early onset deterioration plus an injury from the military and I go through a lot of pain. But that was always in my lower back. Uh, about two years ago, all of a sudden it started in my upper neck. And it's gotten to the point now where it's affecting things I hold. I lose sensation in my fingers. I've been dropping my keys, my cell phone, stuff like that. I also, whenever I'm driving, if I turn my head like this, I'll hear what sounds like a sharp snap of glass. And then I get a quick kink in my neck and then it's gone. Sometimes I it stays. The fact of the matter is, is that they were going to tell me whether or not they'd be willing to do a surgery. Well, uh, the surgical department decided, no, we're not. The surgery would have been the quick, easy fix. That would have been my, my pain management doctor even told me, it's like, hey, if they say surgery, great, it's fixed. If they don't, then that means you're going to have to do spinal injections and you're going to have to do um, a, a lot of hard work. You know, there's, there's a lot that's going to go on. When they told me no to the surgery, they did say that they wanted to do traction for my neck, which is putting some inflatable thing here. Now it's like my wife trying to strangle me when I upset her or something. But, And it pushes my neck up to spread the vertebrae because there is bulges in my neck. Um, all of that, hearing that it wasn't going to be the, hey, surgery, it's fixed. I admit, like nobody wants to go and have surgery, but... It was a little disheartening to hear that they weren't going to do it. It was disheartening to hear that I would need to have injections in my spine. For those who don't know, I'm a fully disabled veteran. And it's always been suggested that I might get to that point in my life where I have to have spinal injections. And I've always been kind of dreaded it. So this week, I admit, I let it tear me down. And I missed this week of workouts. I was ready to throw in the towel. I got to that point where I've fallen off the wagon before. But then I stopped and it was today. It was today that I realistically looked at myself and I thought, I can't give up. Because if I give up, then I'm really going to make my life even harder. This is something I'm doing to better me. This is something I'm going to continue to do because it's going to help. Because there's no quick fix. Okay? I'm not getting a quick fix. We're going to do this the hard way, but we're going to do it the right way. So that's what I decided and why I'm not giving up. I did my first workout in over a week. Yes, I've lost. It's like I lost some of that momentum and it wasn't as easy this time as it was starting to get. But that doesn't mean I can't get back there. I only missed a week and I, and I even got in a workout last week, but I missed pretty much all of it except for one day. So this is me. This is week six, day one. Hmm. And let's do this. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for listening. We're not giving up.